It is going to be another day of dangerous heat and humidity along with ozone pollution here in Southeast Texas. I'm ABC 13 Chief Meteorologist Travis Herzog with your need to know weather. That heat advisory continues until 8 o'clock this evening, and it's in that 8 o'clock hour when the heat index will finally drop back below 100 degrees. The heat advisories are normally issued when the heat index gets to 108 degrees or higher. In most cases, it'll peak a few degrees shy of that, but that is again when we have full power in Southeast Texas and we are nowhere near that. So with millions remaining without power, these heat advisories will continue as a way to alert you that this is a dangerous combination of heat and humidity. But notice how in our coastal counties, those heat advisories are those heat indices come down into the 80s and low 90s. That's because of a chance of scattered downpours coming in, but it's probably not going to have much of a chance to make it through most of the city of Houston. By 8 o'clock tonight, that's when the heat index is finally below 100 all across southeast Texas and will continue to drop into the 80s by 10 o'clock. Our overnight low make it down into the middle and upper 70s. That'll offer a little bit of relief when we can get that temperature below 80 degrees at night, but it doesn't help much when it comes to the humidity. High temperatures for Thursday back up into the mid 90s and with the heat index back up around 105, I believe that heat advisory will be extended yet another day. This is our future track, which shows a scattering of heavy downpours in the coastal counties this afternoon, but they don't really make it that far up into the city of Houston. Why will we have a light northeasterly wind trying to keep that out on off? offshore, but there is a deeper band of moisture that will be lifting northward from the Gulf of Mexico tomorrow. That's going to bring an early morning rain chance into our coastal counties on uh, Thursday morning. By noontime, we see the big storms bubbling up still in the coastal counties, but then they migrate northward into Houston during the middle afternoon hours, so there is a higher chance that more of us inland will get some of those cooling rain showers and thunderstorms come Thursday afternoon. By Thursday evening, we are drying out, and Friday and Saturday, the rain chances look to go up just a little bit more. Quickly want to let you know, in case you've seen some false information spreading around on social media, there are no other tropical concerns right now for us here in Southeast Texas, at least not over the next week. The only thing threatening to develop is off the southeastern coast of the country. It will not track this way, and it's only a 10% chance of development. Meanwhile, the remnants of barrel continue to spin across the Midwest and the Great Lakes region. Uh, the Mid-Atlantic and New England states could get some heavy rain and some tornadoes out of that, but it's no longer uh, our issue when it comes to the weather. Our biggest concern is the heat, the humidity and the high levels of ozone pollution. We might be re-increasing those rain chances a little more Thursday, Friday and Saturday as that deeper belt of moisture just offshore, which currently stretches. Uh, if you draw a line from Brownsville to New Orleans, that's where that tropical moisture sits. That's what will be coming back in to bring us a higher chance of rain and lower those highs down closer to 90 degrees. The one positive on this 10 day forecast is there are no triple digits in there. Of course, when you factor in the humidity, it still feels to our bodies like it's over 100. But, uh, you know, we, we know the heat could be a lot worse at this time of year. So minor rain chances will be continuing for the next 10 days. And here's to hoping that the storms do not slow down the power restoration efforts and that those uh, brave uh, men and women that are out there trying to restore power will be able to do so and to do so quickly and safely for us all. I do hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Stay cool as you can and we'll keep watching the weather for you.